to this week's vlog. Um, so today I have a couple of things that I want to do. Um, I've been doing the body on my Okapi doll. Um, so I've still got a little bit to do. I've still got to sew up three legs um, and just refine some things a little bit. And then I'll have to um, paint the patterns on. Um, so the process of making the body is going to be up on my Patreon. And the rest of it will be on my YouTube for free, but if you want a little bit more, um, then yeah, the rest of the body will be on my Patreon. Um, so to just be like, a, it's not a tutorial or, tutorial or anything, it's just like a, how I did the body, just the process and stuff. Um, so yes, that will be over there. Uh, I also have a um, faux fur tools trimming tool video up there so you can check that out for $5 and above if you want to know uh, what tools I use for trimming uh, it's available on there um, what else so the main focus today will probably be on my Secret Santa wolf so I need to get that out to my um, Secret Santa partner so I want to try and get some uh work done on that and then all of the other dolls as well so i could probably do a lot of the armature work um this week so because it needs a bit of time to dry so um yeah i'll try and get that done and then that way um they can sit for a little while and set um and then i could probably focus on the okapi doll um I, I do want to sort of try a little experiment with uh, different sort of fabric sculpting so um, I will give that a go what I have in mind that is um, and see how it works out uh, what else yeah I still need to paint my kitsune mask it's been sitting there for a while and I still have to cast uh, one more foot. I'm um, a foot down for a ferret, so I have to cast that one foot um, and then I can start working on that doll as well. Uh, so yeah, quite a little bit to do, um, but I have some time off during the end of the year that I could probably get a whole lot of things done. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Um, what else? I've got my Kakashi figure that I won on Toreba. Uh, I need to pick it up. I miss the postman. Uh, but I need to pick it up. Um, so there'll be a video on that coming as well. Um, and yeah. When I finish my Kurama doll, I'll be able to do like photo shoots and stuff with uh, the Naruto figures. Uh, so that would be pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I better get doing stuff. back uh today's friday so what i did yesterday was i made a couple of armatures for um my wolf doll and my kurama doll and also um my rat doll so i have three others to make armatures for so two kitsunes and one ferret yes two kitsunes and one ferret um and i've also prepped my kurama doll um for putting it together so what I've done is I've added some smaller armature so this will be for the ears so I can make this bigger or smaller I just put this on there um, as a rough estimate of how big I want the ears to be so the ears will be posable 
Um, so, you know, they can go in whatever direction I want the ears to go. Same deal with that one. Um, and I've got the spine prepped as well, so that's ready to go. Uh, so yeah, everything's ready to go for the Kurama doll. I've got the tails ready. Um, the armature for the tails ready, so um, yeah, pretty cool. Ready to go. Cool. Um, and then I did a bit of work on while that was all drying and stuff and curing overnight, left it overnight. Um, I worked on my Okapi doll. So we've almost finished. I, I've sewn up two legs. So one leg is this one. Uh, I will be adding some colour to the legs so you will see more stripes. Um, same with the back end, but other than that, we're almost done with it. Um, and then I can put it up for sale. Um, I'm still going to try with the, the faux fur on the face. Um, we'll just try it out. Not sure just yet, but a little bit of trial and error. I need to put, um, some like fake hair and the end of the tail as well and uh, yeah hopefully I can get that sewn up today sewing just takes so much time to do but um, yeah here's what it is that's why I hate hand sewing because it just takes so long um, but in the meantime uh, I won another thing off Toreba I'll do a separate video but I won this Kakashi figure uh, so I'm gonna do a video on that next uh, and put it together so, yeah, I've got to get the Naruto one, and then I've got the set of this series, the Vibration Stars. Um, so, yeah, I'll do a separate video on that as well. And I also want to, on Toreba, they had a uh, one of the older Boruto figures come up, so I won that in a couple of shots, so it's like cost like 10 bucks or something to win. Um, so, when that comes, I will do a video on that as well, but in the meantime, I'll do one on the, this figure. And then we'll see. All right, I better get some stuff done. today but I just wanted to show you what I've done I mainly worked on armatures today so um, it's not a whole lot of fantastic looking um, footage but uh, Kurama is looking pretty good um, I've got most of the armature together uh, I've got all the armature together actually I just have to start sewing it up um, but he's looking pretty good um, Probably the ears are a good size, I'd say. Um, and it seems to be in a good posing position. Um, but I can start refining it a bit more once um, I start sewing it up and putting it all together. But yeah, he's looking pretty good. Um, I put my armature together for my wolf. So that's just curing over there. So it'll take another 24 hours to cure properly before I can move on. Um, and the same with my rat doll as well. Um, so, yeah, so probably for the rest of the day, I'm just going to do a little bit of sewing on my Okapi doll. Um, I mean, nobody wants to watch hours of sewing, have hand sewing. So I'm only filming a little bit of that sewing process, which will be available on my Patreon. Um, this week I have a new Patreon video up on my... Patreon. 
Um, and it's about tools for um, trimming faux fur. So if you're interested in that, they're available for my $5 and up um, tiers. Um, and any further questions, just ask me and I can um, also make another video on that. Uh, I have some process pictures of the Okapi on my Patreon as well. And um, yeah. I have heaps of new stuff going up, so yeah. If you want to join, it's over on Patreon at Creatures of Nat in the description. Um, and that's pretty much it for today. I'm going to a cat show tomorrow, so I might try and get some footage of that uh, for next week's vlog. Um, I went last year, and it was kind of like um, wasn't very well organized, <laughs> and they had like a cat. The breeder showcase thing but they made it a dead end rather than a thoroughfare so it was just like really chaotic um, which I don't know why they did that for because everyone had to like go in and then turn it back around and it was just not working um, so this year they've said that they're not doing that um, but we'll see what it's like this year uh, and if they have any good products or anything for my cats um, but Yes, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thank you again for my patrons for supporting me. Very, I very much appreciate it. Um, you can also check me out on Instagram and Facebook at Creatures of Nat. And my shop at creaturesofnat.com. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.